Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you this super cool, unique slit scan effect that you can see here on screen just a couple of steps so let's not lose any time and let's get straight into it boys okay so this tutorial is gonna be pretty straightforward so we're just gonna hop right into it we're gonna begin by adding a solid to our composition we're gonna add an effect called gradient ramp and what we're gonna do is zoom all the way out and we're gonna grab the start of the ramp and put it right there on the left side and the end of the ramp all the way right here on the right you want to make sure it's spaced out and then we're just gonna duplicate that do the same thing but for the top and bottom so same thing start ramp at the top and end a ramp right here at the bottom so we have now these four points right here and now you're just gonna hide the solid layer right here so we can just basically work on our video layer right here and we're gonna add an effect called time displacement to it we're gonna click on this little menu right here and we're gonna click solid and then we're gonna go to source and make that effects and masks and we're gonna make the max displacement time something between like two or three and we're gonna make the time resolution which is basically the frames per second 13 so we have this like posterized time look and it's already looking super sick I really like how it slides up at the end. I think that transition is super nice. And to spice it up even more, we're gonna add posterized time to the actual layer itself. And we're gonna make that like 12. And yeah, now it's looking even cooler. And we're gonna do one last thing to make it look even nicer. So then you're gonna select your video. And if you have energy V3, what you can do is just hop over the energy effects. And we're gonna go for a calmer flashing effect to really tie it all together. We're gonna drag that onto our video layer. And we have this instant super cool flashing effect going on here, which matches super well with the posterized time. And finally, we're gonna search up noise and we're gonna uncheck the use color noise. And we're gonna make the amount of noise 15, but that might be too much. Yeah, that's, that's a bit too much. So we're gonna lower that to like, 10 and that's pretty much it you can add gaussian blurs to kind of soften the noise but you don't want to put anything too crazy because it's just going to blur out the noise so like five is too much you probably want to go for something like one it's really really subtle it doesn't make much of a difference but it just helps soften the noise so you can either throw that on top of noise to basically kind of blur the background and leave the noise sharp or you can throw it below the noise so the noise gets affected and not just the video layer and this is the final effect that we're going for so if you did find this tutorial useful and you do like this effect make sure to drop a like on this video and if you do want to grab energy v3 it'll be linked down below first link and if you want to get 17 percent off energy v3 you can sign up to my newsletter and you will instantly get that applied at checkout so on that note, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys next time. Peace.